Hello, I'm Mario, and today's video is about my custom build-out for my bed. Yes, I think I have the solution here. And what it is, well, it's a table from Lowe's. Yeah. So, hey, 70 bucks. I didn't have to assemble anything. And yeah, I got a, a table. So this is it. This is the whole thing. I have the same uh, self-inflating uh, mattress. It's 25 inches wide. And then um, I guess this is 25 and a half inches wide. The table is by 60 inches. So the, the mattress is a little bit, uh, a little bit longer than the table, but it, this, this is the only way the table will fit in here because I have the metal wheel wells over here. And so, yeah, I got all of my stuff here fits underneath really easily. And so, uh, yeah, this is what I went with. And I debated on, you know, uh, getting the hammer, the nails, the screw gun, the glue, the, you know, I was just trying to think of some sort of solution. And I think this might work. So um, I've already tested it out. I was at a truck stop um, trying to get this thing uh, ready. And I actually filmed at the truck stop, but it just... It was so loud at the truck stop, I didn't save a lot of the footage. So let's cut over to the truck stop and then we'll come back and I'll go over more of these, uh, more over, more of these uh, details on, the, uh, on how I got to where I'm at. I got the bed set up. So this will be the maiden voyage uh, for the bed. So, you know, I, I don't have like the permanent mattress. The only thing I have right now is, that's new, is the table. So. There was a mattress that I was using down here in the kitchen floor, and I'm using that same Cabela's um, self-inflating mattress right here underneath the bed. So there's a couple of uh, couple of things right off the bat that I already like about this. Like I said, I haven't tried it yet, so I'm at a truck stop right now. Um, today was a huge laundry, shopping. It was, you know, I do a little driving, so it's another crazy day. But at any rate, found a spot at a truck stop. I'm gonna crash out here. And so right now I'm in road mode. I could, you know, obviously have a, got a couple of things laid out on the countertop, but those are just items that I'm using right now. Other than that, everything is road mode. I'm ready to go. So that's what's so exciting to me about this setup here. But oh yeah, so at any rate, a um, couple of things right off the bat that I really like about this. One, um, I can I can lay my bedding flat without any wrinkles in it because what would happen is that's so narrow over there in between the kitchen that I was constantly trying to pull any of the folds out of the bedding because I have bedding like on top of the mattress. I have like another like, I don't know, lightweight cotton bedspread thing kind of thing going on. But yeah, so now it's kind of, uh, it's really flat. So I was using the microwave to uh, hold a suction cup thing for my phone so I could watch YouTube, right? Um, gotta keep up on YouTube. And so I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I guess what I can do is I can use the glass here and um, I'll just go ahead and, I'll, I have my little adapter thing here so I can hook that up. So I just gotta take the screen off to do that. So the negatives, um, I didn't want my head by the heater. Um, the furnace is right here. And when I was over there on the kitchen floor, the furnace was at my feet, which was perfect. I could have it turn on and off and, um, you know, it wasn't blasting warm air right next to, you know, where I'm trying to breathe. So I don't know how that's gonna work out. And the reason why I have it set up like this is, and, and I'll show you in, in other, other clips, is just that the, the table is, the only way it really fit in there with all of my gadgets underneath is that the table had to be moved all the way this way. So there's a couple of inches of the mattress kind of hanging over the edge of the table there, and I don't want my head hanging over at that spot. I don't know, maybe, I'll, I'll try it out and flip it around, we'll see how it works. It's a little chilly tonight, so the heater will be running. We'll see how much it bothers me. That thing is loud also. So, um, but at any rate, yeah, super excited to, uh, to, to check this thing out. 
and I don't know, see how it works. And you know what I'd like to do, and I have a little bit of, got a little bit of a room right here. What I'd like to do is get a, you know, maybe more of like a memory foam mattress thing going on. But yeah, I'm so far. I'm I'm, I'm really excited about the fact that this is it. I mean, it's just like hop out of bed, you know, grab whatever what whatever items I was using, you know, light pack it up and, and get on out. All right, well, so I think it's time to crawl into bed and try this thing out. Other than all of the noise over there at that truck stop, that was that was harsh, man. I had I had refrigerated vans on on both sides of me at one point. It was just it was just loud, loud. Um, but at any rate, the bed's working out really good. And so I'm still going to keep an eye out for a foam mattress. I did spot something over at Walmart, but I don't know, it's like 140 bucks to get a mattress and then I'm going to cut it open and, and only use part of it because the mattress is really thick. So I'd only need to use a couple of those layers. So I don't know how much of a chore, how much of a mess, how much extra money I'd be spending for the convenience of picking up a mattress at Walmart. So at any rate, this is working really good. I'm, I was, uh, I'm ecstatic about the whole scenario and and how easily I mean that's really the objective here is I just wanted something that was easy to I could use a bed but not have to uh, set up and tear down the sleeping arrangement I mean it's it's basically just like this always so that's an objective that I met this is working out really really well the table's very sturdy it's got metal reinforcement all along it so i don't feel any like sagging soft spots it's not one of those folding type i got it at lowe's it's just one piece they have longer ones this one's 60 inches long i think by 20 25 and a half inches wide or so uh, i don't know I, I i can't remember it's the six it's the 60 inch one so at any rate um what I was getting at here is this, uh, all of my stuff stows in there very easily. I have uh, the ability to um, secure this against the wall. So right now it's not secure. I, it moves back and forth sitting here in camping mode. But when I get ready for road mode, I just grab, just grab this table and lash it uh, to the side to hold my stuff in place and yeah, it works out really well. I mean, that's what I did before. So as far as securing this table up against that wall and holding my stuff in place, nothing's really changed. The only thing different is the table is here. And so, yeah, it's working out really well. I just, uh, you know, put my bedding here. As far as sleeping on it, it's more comfortable than, uh, than sleeping in between the cabinets and, and the bathroom. And, um, so probably the only negatives is like the extra the extra bedding here. I mean, I got to kind of you know get get that out of the way. So maybe I'll find a way to kind of secure that up and over, but uh but yeah, I'm liking it. Uh I don't the other thing I did was um I I have access. So even when I'm in road mode, I have access to my uh, drawers here, and this is where I store my uh, store my dirty laundry. So it's a little cumbersome, like I said, because of the uh, because of the sheets and stuff. But but yeah, even even when I have everything tied down, there's a, a tie down here, and then I got another tie down back over on that end, and even when I have everything secured i can still access that i mean i still got to kind of climb over stuff but it's not a big deal and then yeah for the phone i just uh so here i have my my phone here i have my phone mount and it's working out fine i just kind of bent it back but yeah i might uh i might put a mount here like maybe uh use some uh, 3m vhb and kind of stick a piece of metal here so I can have a mount but uh yeah the furnace is a little loud with my head over on this end but uh I think I'm going to stick it out like this and yeah I don't I don't know what other improvements 
I will do other than searching out for a different uh, foam mattress. Um, one thing I was thinking is like maybe I'll have it so that it's always secure. You know, have another secure point, like secure the table against the wall. But I don't want the uh, I don't want the vibrations of driving down the road to um, wear out the hinges and rivets and stuff like that for the table. So I may secure it and make it more rigid up against the the, the side of the trailer there. But I think it's going to do okay. And I have a uh, bedding. Uh, on the side of it here so that it doesn't rub up against the uh, rub up against the wall All right, I think that covers it I mean, it's made a little goofy to make a video about it, but it's been a, it's a huge deal for me I you know, so I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know. I uh, I've been uh, Been contemplating what to do and I'm so glad I didn't jump in to trying to build something out so what so that kind of now that I got this out of the, the other thing is now that I have this out of the way, I can think of some other projects like I want to I want to maybe a different type of workstation here. So that might be like some sort of cabinet build out. And then the other thing, and I don't really need it, but when it comes time to replace my AGM batteries, I have two six volt uh, in series uh, six volt batteries. So that's a 12 volt system. But I got two of those uh, golf cart batteries. And so when it comes time to replace those, I don't really want to replace them with another set of AGM batteries. I'd like to go lithium. So uh, I have a convection microwave up there and I don't use it very often. Rarely do I use it to maybe to reheat pizza. I've used it. I've used it to reheat pizza a few times and then I've used the microwave to warm up baked beans on a couple of, on, you know, when I have baked beans. <laughs> I use the microwave. So I haven't really used it. So what I'm the reason why I mentioned the microwave is I may pull all that out and then convert that whole area in those cabinets up there as a lithium battery bank. Don't know yet, but anyway, that's what I'm thinking. So that's another reason why this is exciting because it's something I kind of I got it out of the way because I had it up there as a priority. Now that it's out of the way, I can start thinking about some of this other stuff that uh that I that I think I might want to do. And so, all right. Well, hey everybody, I'm gonna close this out. Thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I hope, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, it's kind of some goofy content, but it is what it is. That's what I'm doing. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.